Aquava. Welcome back to This Is Ghana and my mini series Independence Ghana at 60. This is the very first episode titled Colonial Ghana The Road to Independence 10 Facts. So here we will be looking at Ghana's journey from being colonized by Britain to how they became independent and on the 6th of March 1957 and did you know Ghana was the very first African country to gain independence and this is such a huge achievement and as a Ghanaian something I am very very proud of. Fact number one Ghana was formerly known as the Gold Coast whilst under the British colony before they gained independence. The name the Gold Coast derives from the existence of the abundance of the natural resource gold is pretty self-explanatory. Fact number two, although Ghana was colonized by Britain, they were not the first country in Ghana. It was actually the Portuguese in the 1400s and they built Elmina Castle. Fact number three, the colonization of Ghana brought about great economic prosperity and this led to Ghana being the world leading cocoa producers and they still produce cocoa to this day so I'm more likely than not the chocolate that you eat and the hot chocolate that you drink is more than likely to be cocoa from Ghana. Fact number four, the early colonial years were fairly prosperous and untroubled However, the indigenous population had little involvement in the political process. After World War II, there was a shift. The indigenous population sought self-determination. This led to the creation of the United Gold Coast Convention, a political group that sought self-government. Fact number five. The leaders of the United Gold Coast Convention were those known as the Big Six. Now they comprised of Ebenezer Akko Ajay, J.B. Dankwa, Edward Akufo Ado, Kwame Kuruma, Emmanuel Obechibi Lante and William Ofori Atta. Those were the big six and they played a very big role in the independence of Ghana. Fact number six. The popularity of the United Gold Coast Convention or UGCC grew in popularity which resulted in numerous riots taking place, especially in 1948, and also the arrest of Kwame Nkrumah and the other founding members of UGCC. Later on, there was also a division within the group, which led to Kwame Nkrumah forming his own political party, the Convention People's Party, in 1949. Fact number seven. In 1950, following the establishment of his own political party, Kwame Nkrumah organized non-violent protests and strike, which ultimately led to his arrest. Now, following that year, in 1951, the colony had the very first general election, and whilst in prison, Kwame Nkrumah's political party won by a great majority, and he became the Prime Minister of the Gold Coast. Fact number eight. Although Kwame Nkrumah was the Prime Minister of the Gold Coast, they were still under the British colony. It wasn't until 1956 that the British agreed to grant independence provided that a reasonable majority was reached. Clearly, the required majority was reached, otherwise the story of the road to independence for Ghana would have been different. Fact number nine. The colonization of Ghana brought about a British style of education. Now this style of education brought about an elite group of young Ghanaians who were able to use this style of education as a means to strive and fight for our independence. Fact number 10. Guys, we've come to the end of the journey on the road to independence. Now, after all the hard work, after all the fighting, after all the commitment and dedication, Ghana gained independence on the 6th of March. The very first African country to gain independence this is such a great and huge achievement. 
I'm very very proud of that and I'm very proud to be a Ghanaian. May we not forget the hard work and dedication our fellow brothers and sisters put in in order to emancipate Ghana. We as Ghanaians have a duty to carry on this great work of making Ghana greater. Let us, with the same passion our fellow brothers and sisters had, come together in unity to work for the greater good of our beloved country Ghana. And may God bless our homeland Ghana. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.